I absolutely love how God will speak to me through situations with my kids. I have four children, three boys and one girl. And Evelyn is three going on 16, honestly. <laughs> and uh, I have a really sweet relationship with her every night. I'm usually the one that puts her to bed. And so this one particular night, we're doing our bedtime routine and I, I've got her in her little rocking chair and, and we do books and we sing and pray and, and she likes to have her back tickled and it's just a really sweet snuggling time and intimate time where we can talk and I can share with her and pour into her and just talk to her about things because even at three years old, she understands a lot. And so this particular night, I just really felt God prompting me to um, speak life over her and to um, pray into her future. And so I found myself, you know, with the lights off, we were just, I was holding her and I was, I was praying over her about, about her future, about her, her health, about her, um, the call on her life, the giftings in her life, about her future husband and about, about all the amazing things that she would do and uh, praying protection over her um, against the enemy and and just speaking this, these incredibly prophetic things over her and it was honestly one of <laughs> one of the the most intimate and and sweetest times that <laughs> that I can remember having with her and I opened <laughs> I opened my eyes to to just see what she process through everything. I felt like I was coming out of this amazing, like, oh my gosh, just mic drop of a prayer. And I opened my eyes and she was staring at me and she just, she says, our car doesn't drive in water. And I said, well, no, 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 it doesn't. And uh, she said, our, our car doesn't have wings either. And I said, no, <laughs> no, it doesn't. And I giggled at the moment, but then I, I started thinking later, how, how many of us are completely missing what God is speaking to us because we are over here, distracted, thinking about something else, not paying attention. Let me tell you, God is speaking to you. And the reason that we don't hear it is because you're thinking about something else. Your mind is on something else. You are thinking about what you're already going to say and respond <laughs> before you can even listen and hear and, and receive what he has to say. God knows absolutely everything that you're going through. He knows the things that you're thinking. He knows the plans that he has for you, good things that are coming in your life, things that he wants to bring to fruition. But if we don't stop, and if we don't get still, if we don't get quiet, we miss out on the connection with the very one that made us, that made us. And I think so many of us believe the lie and are deceived into thinking that God isn't really talking to us when in fact, we're just not quiet enough to hear him. We're just not quiet enough. And there are so much distraction distraction in our worlds. I encourage you this week to get very quiet. I know that that can feel uncomfortable. Sometimes it's uncomfortable for me to get quiet and to get still. But set a challenge for yourself of five minutes, okay? I think anybody can start with five minutes of quiet. This is where you're going to turn off the TVs, you're going to turn off the social media, you're going to Maybe you can have some quiet music playing in the background, some worship music, okay? And you are going to lift up your hand and say, here I am, what do you have to say? What do you have to say? Because God has a lot to say to you. He has a lot to share with you. And um, in Proverbs 23, <laughs> God tells us to apply our hearts to instruction and our ears to words of knowledge. We have to take some action, okay? We have to take some action. And 
it's not typically going to come from like a burning bush or like fire raining down from the sky as signs from God. I know that even I have sometimes like, God, just give me a sign that this is something that you want me to do, okay? When in fact that we could just quietly ask him, God, what do you think about this? And he will share with you. You will get a feeling inside of, of peace or not peace about something. That's God speaking to you through Holy Spirit. So this week, get quiet. Crawl up into that chair. Imagine how I was with Evelyn, holding her in the quiet, speaking with her, focused on her, and spend that time with God. Let him comfort you. Let him show you the plans that he has for you and encourage you. It's going to be awesome. God bless you.